But I really do hope people pay more attention to college football and, and some of those traditions that people gravitate to that make it just a little bit different and a lot kookier because you have really weird cultures that embed themselves into this and are powerhouses such as Texas A&M. Well, let's talk about this cult for a second because uh, explain to people the history of the Midnight Yell. Explain to them. Uh, and, and Arkansas is the creepiest one. Ar- we're in agreement, the right? The Pig Suey? No, I, I would say Texas A&M. No, Midnight Yell. no. It, uh, dude, I, I have to be careful because I'm going to College Station. I am not insulting Good this. Good luck. Yeah, I'm not insulting this town. I'm not. They they are very passionate. I had no idea what Texas A&M was until I sat in one of their sections at the Orange Bowl, and this was before social media. And I did not know about like, are they a military school? That's not a military school. Do they have an ROTC program? Why is everyone dressed in white? Why? It was like a cult. It, it's very weird. Like, why are the cheerleaders doing guns? Like, I don't understand any of it. And, and, now, if, and if you do misspeak, by the way, they will be in all of our mentions today. Yeah. No, They're let's, very let's proud let's and loud fan base. Let's have fun. Well, no, 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 no. There he is. Bad judgment. No, 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 again, don't, making don't, an appearance. Don't put me in a bad again. spot. Because look at, will you look at him? I mean, every color. I mean, don't. every color in here is so bright. Yeah. I mean, so bright, I mean, so go vibrant. Sit, my, go don't sit send outside. me back there, go please. Sit outside. Don't send me back there. Go sit outside. I can't take it. You're doing a different show than the rest I've, of it. I've it, had it a needs lot to, of coffee. I know. It needs Drink to some stop. water. It helps. It, it I tried. Please, it needs to stop. I'm so thirsty. So they, mouth. they do the midnight yell in College Station, which is basically a practice for all the part? chance. Get out! <laughs> a practice for all the chance that they're going to do at the game uh, in a couple hours after the midnight Louder, yell. Mike. So he says it, he wants to hear your story. He does. So it, it's it's bizarre, and usually you don't have video of it. Now video circulates because of social media and how easy it is to circulate. So you get a bit of banter. And this was the midnight yell in advance of the Appalachian State game. Oh, I had to Google this team to make sure that they're even real. I was really confused because Appalachia is definitely not a state. But sure enough, I found them, and they're located deep, and I mean deep, in the backwoods. Just like you would think any hillbilly college that names themselves the Mountaineers. I just hope that these guys can get here tomorrow all right, because I know for a fact that half of their football team can barely even read the name on their jerseys, let alone read a map. It's a shame that the only two brain cells that all these guys have left are going to get knocked out by our wrecking crew defense tomorrow. Appalachian State went on to win. (laughs) (laughs) It it, it was weird. They weren't inspired by that amazing stand-up routine by the dude in overalls doing finger guns in between every line. It is really, really cringy stand-up that that he was doing there. And then, of course, yes, you can't lose – Again, though, as we head into minor league football and money spilling from the sky, the Sun Belt Conference takes the weekend. Are, are we gonna? Are we gonna just ignore? We're gonna talk about the NFL and uh, and um, the the Mariota led Falcons because we must instead of sort of celebrating what's coming uh, for Saturdays. What I'd like to talk because I had an opportunity to go to the Midnight Yell on Friday, and I'm not going because I, I number one, it's just not a good place for me. And number two is I was kind of worried is where it might go. And hearing how people in College Station, Texas, talk about Appalachia, how do you think they're going to talk about Miami? I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, please, uh, I want I want uh, stand-up branded comedy coming out of Texas A&M. Are we afraid that they are indeed culty in spirit? They're, they're you're- the kind of fan base that if you call a cult, they'll just tell you, plain as day, yes, we are. And you think that you're insulting them, and they'll just, yeah, no, we're absolutely a cult. I have nothing, I have nowhere to go after that. It's very disarming. We got passionate fans. That sounded like Bane. We've got passionate fans. Very different. No, we didn't. Okay, let's do the F1 minute. Connery now.